If I say X, you say Drax. X, Jax, X, Drax. If I say X, you say Drax. X, Jax, X, Drax. Inside the grocer's hall, Drax is holding its annual general meeting. And it's the third year now that we've held demonstrations with coal and biomass campaigners at the Drax AGM to, to basically try to highlight the issue of the forest destruction and the community impact that Drax is responsible for. I say people, you say power! People! Power! People! Power! I say people, you say power! People! Power! People! Power! Wood is a manifestation of carbon in solid form um, and uh, it takes decades for trees to store that carbon um, but it takes uh, seconds for that carbon um, to be incinerated and sent into the atmosphere um, as uh, CO2 gas. It is a total myth that, that, that wood is low carbon when it's burning in power stations like Drax. So in actual fact, most of the evidence points to the fact that it is, is very carbon intensive. And in fact, DEC's own research, a, a publication that was, that was produced last year, shows just how carbon intensive it can be. They say they're not accelerating climate change because it's renewable energy. Well, biological carbon from wood has just as much capacity to accelerate climate change as every bit as destructive as coal. The difference is you're also destroying a forest to do it. Some of the biomass that Drax is burning could be three times as carbon intensive as the coal they're burning. And like coal is, is really bad and that is the standard that we, that we set as for like the worst of the fossil fuels and, and the most carbon intensive uh, ways to generate energy. They say they're cutting thinnings, they're cutting from residues. Yet when we invoke the Freedom of Information Act and asked exactly what is going into the, into the pellets, we were told that Drax themselves had said they could only burn from slow-growing trees with a low bark content. Well, that's anything but thinnings and, and residues which have very high bark contents. I'm Wesley Ingram, but I'm appearing today as Max the Axe Drax Bear. The hope was to sneak into the Drax AGM in my stripper outfit and at the end reveal myself as a bear, but they revealed me to be a bear right at the outset. It was not to be, it turned out. It was not to be. Most of the wood from Drax comes from the southern states of America. It's an incredibly sort of biodiverse area. Lots of birds endangered. The black bears from there as well. And I was the spokesperson for black bears. And I was there to point out that not only was Drax destroying my homeland, but also the other point was that when DEC withdraw their subsidies for burning biomass for electricity, then this whole, this whole shindig will turn into a bear market. A pun. And then the next line was, as sure as I shit in the woods, this will be turned into a bear market. I have lost my shirt, having just removed my shirt. Are you prepared to lose yours? The toxins emitted from burning wood, over 70 different toxic emissions. We know they're influencing the health of local people, people living within the, co the, the vicinity of the power plant. It's not just about uh, the lie of, of burning sustainable and low-carbon biomass, it's also the fact that it allows them to keep burning millions of tonnes of coal. Drex uh, has been buying coal from, among other places, Colombia, and we are working with communities in Colombia who are suffering because of coal mining. We're also working with coal mine workers in Colombia who themselves don't want the mining to stop but they do want the injustices connected with it to stop. We do want to see an end to coal, but we want to see a just transition away from coal so that coal mine workers and their communities are not trashed like communities were in this country under the Thatcher regime. At the Serifon mine, which we believe has been supplying Drax over the years, there's been forced removals of farming communities turfed off their land at the point of a gun. Over the years, because of community struggle and international pressure, the company has been getting better at doing community relocations, but they're still destroying people's agricultural livelihoods. One of the big issues at the moment is the diversion of a water source called the Arroyo Bruno. People are worried about what it's going to do to the ecosystem of the area and agricultural livelihoods. Serrahan is owned by three massive mining companies that are all listed here in the City of London, Anglo-American, BHP, Billiton and Glencore. And the chances are that most British people who've got work 
are inadvertently investing in those companies through their pension funds or through their insurance or through their bank account or through paying council tax to a local council which then invests its pension fund. So people are helping this destruction and this injustice without even knowing it. If I say climate, you say justice. Climate, justice. justice. Climate, justice. If I say people, you say power. People, power. People, power. The government came in and claiming to be the greenest government ever, yet all they've done since they, since they uh, took power is um, direct uh, public investment into uh, continued fossil fuel burning. When Drax was built, campaigners calculated that the money that was needed to build it could be used instead to insulate the whole of East Anglia, which would save the need for all the energy that Drax produces. This scandal is about to be repeated. Drax is due to get 660 million a year in subsidies. And the same thing is happening with other power stations. There are new plans to build a, another coal-fired power station by Drax. And the government is offering a billion, one billion pounds in subsidies to do that. The new power station won't have to capture any carbon within the first two years and the 50% requirement for the third year can be substituted entirely with biomass. A green government should be investing in genuine renewable energy. That's solar, that's wind, onshore and offshore, uh, tidal and uh, wave technology. Our message is really clear that, that we have to act tracks, we have to close the power station down, there's no other alternative for it, um, and hopefully that's what we'll achieve. I want to give you this quote by Arundhati Roy, another author, quite famous author. She says, in her words, that another world is not only possible, she's on her way. And on a quiet day, I can hear her breathing. I would ask us, ask us all to be part of the birthing of this new world by invoking whatever it is within us that we feel we need to do to help make the change happen. Thank you for being here. Thank you. When I say climate, you say justice. Climate. Justice. Climate. Justice. When I say climate, you say justice. Climate. Justice. Climate. Justice. When I say people, you say power. People. Power. People. Power. When I say people, you say power. People. Power. People. Power. Extract, extract, extract. Take your power back. Extract, extract, extract. Take your power back.